Hello everyone. This is your tutor Jainam Padani, and today I'm gonna get teach flying car. Okay. So let's start with the introduction of this platform. The name of this platform is Scratch. Okay. The left hand side section, if you see over here, uh, this is known as toolbox because it contains lots and lots of code. If we drag this code and put it over here, the code which we have put it, wherever we have put it, uh, the middle section, that is known as workspace. Okay, so whatever the code we're gonna write is we're gonna write in this workspace. Suppose you have written some code and you're gonna run it, you're gonna say it's result, you're gonna say it's output. From where you'll be saying it, you'll be saying it from here, the rightmost section, which is known as stage. Okay, perfect. Now, how to add characters and background for some some game or animation you're gonna create? So over here, if you see this icon, we'll be creating, we'll be putting our uh, sprites from this okay uh, and this uh, characters are known as sprites in this uh, scratch language and uh, we can also add background from this icon okay perfect so today the uh, we'll be creating a flying car so let's add a car first i'll be just going to sprites i'll be clicking on car i'll be writing car and yeah i've got one car i think this is perfect okay what else i'll be adding one background too Let's see which is the perfect background for it. Blue sky one is a nice one. If I don't get some other, uh, then I'll be doing for going for blue sky. Mm, how is it? I think this uh, this background is perfect. Oh, let's see. If there's some other. We'll try. Let's try with some other background. Background. Um, night city. Um, yeah. I think this is perfect. Okay, so we are done with our background and we are done with uh, adding one car. Okay, and um, still, uh, the ba I want some bright background, so I'll be simply adding blue sky only. Okay, yeah, now, now I think it's perfect. Okay, now what do I want? Now I want to create an animation that uh, the background is a moving background. So, how will I do it? How will I, I'm, I'm gonna do it? So, basically, there's a uh, uh, in this background we'll be putting more uh, characters uh, the two more characters I'm gonna put which is first one is tree and the second character which I'm gonna put will be cloud okay I'm done with this much I'll be decreasing the size which is uh, much bigger I'll be making it 75 and I'll be placing it over here I think 75 is still bigger so I'll make it size as 50 maybe yeah, 50 is perfect, I think so. I'll be placing it over here, okay. And the cloud, uh, the size of the cloud is perfect, which doesn't matter. When I, if I, I want to make it smaller, I can make it like 80. Okay, I think this is perfect. Now, what do I want? First, let's write uh, the code for our car, okay. Car, so since car, I think it's so uh, much bigger, so let's m even make this as 80. Yeah, I think now it's perfect. Or, yeah. So now what do I want? I will be controlling, I'm gonna control my car with the help of arrow keys present on my keyboard. Okay, which key arrow keys? Up arrow key, down arrow key, left arrow key, right arrow key. Perfect. So let's start with writing the code. Okay, so first the, the first mandatory code will, which will be is when green flag click. Basically whenever we click this green flag, our game starts running. Okay, whatever the code we have written, we can see the output of it. So we will be putting when green flag clicked. Now what do I want? Since this will this will be a continuous process of me clicking up arrow key, down arrow key, or whatever, whichever arrow keys. So I'll be putting a loop of for, forever loop. Now what is loop? Loop is something which repeats the code for many number of times. Okay. So what I'm gonna put? I'll be putting an if statement. Okay. How many if statement I'll be putting? Four if statement. Why four if statement? Because there are total four arrow keys up, down, left, right. So that is, I'm gonna put four arrow keys. Now I put a uh, uh, now I put four if statement. Now I'll be putting four conditions, right? So what will be the conditions? The conditions will be when up arrow key pressed, when down arrow key pressed, when right arrow key pressed, and when left arrow key pressed. But there's space written over here, so no problem. We'll do it. We'll be clicking on up. We'll be clicking on down. We'll be clicking on right, and we'll be clicking on left. Okay, now what? When up arrow key pressed, I want my uh, car to go upwards. Okay, going upwards is a vertical movement. If it's a vertical movement, which axis I'm gonna change? Of course, y axis, right? So I'll be changing my y axis. Okay, I'll be changing my y axis 
but by which number a positive number or negative number whenever we go upwards we'll be changing our y axis by positive number and whenever we go downwards we'll be changing our y by negative number okay so we'll be changing our y uh, by positive number in up arrow key and for down arrow key and for down arrow key we'll be changing it by negative 5 let's run it and let's see how it's working um yeah it's working perfectly okay now if my right if uh, I've, i'm gonna press my right arrow if i'm gonna press my right arrow key i want my car to move rightwards okay so moving rightwards or leftwards that is a horizontal movement if it is a horizontal movement i'm gonna change my horizontal axis which is x axis right so i'll be changing my x axis that is for sure but 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 if i'm gonna i'm going right i'll be changing my x axis by what positive number or negative number okay again like an y axis going upwards will be changing positive number and going downwards will be changing negative number similarly if in uh, x axis we'll be going rightwards we'll be changing our we'll be changing it by positive number and if we go leftwards we'll be changing our y by negative number so the uh, so we'll be writing it here uh, change x by 5 and change x by negative 5 simple proper let's run it and let's see how it's working right arrow key is working left arrow key is working uh, down is also working okay everything is working so perfectly now what do i want okay so i'm done with this much now i'll be writing the code for my tree what do i want uh, in this tree i want this tree or and and cloud to both to move to glide what is the meaning of the word glide moving from one place to another so it will be gliding from the this very end to the uh, left uh, uh, end uh, to the edge and then i want it to to go back to this position so i want to create a loop of it gliding from one place to another and going back to that place again so i'll be writing a code and the first mandatory code will be bang green flag click because whatever the code will be starting will be uh, with the help of green flag okay so bang green flag click then what since the, even this is a continuous process we'll be putting a forever loop and guys i've told you what is forever loop okay now in this forever loop what i'll be doing is that hey tree hey tree i'm assigning your position that whenever the game starts i want you to be uh, uh, appearing in this position so what i'll be doing i'll be going to motion and i'll be putting this go to now in this go to you can see there's some x coordinate and y coordinate what are these x coordinate it is similar to the x coordinate and y coordinate in which my tree is present over here on my on the on the place on the coordinates which is it is present over here so x is 214 so at the for x axis it is present on 214 and uh, minus 119 on y so if i uh, put it over here and i click on green flag the tree will be appearing on these coordinates only okay now what do i want i am done with assigning a position now what do i want i want this tree to glide from one place to another one place is this rightmost end and another place is left motion so what i'll be doing i'll be just putting a glide code glide code that now you'll be going now okay i'll be changing only x axis we not y because i don't want to it uh, uh, to move vertically i'll be changing i just want it to move horizontally that is why i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna change its x axis now let's try with minus 200 and let's see how is it working okay uh, it's it's a bit uh, fun, uh, and let's make it minus 230 okay minus 240 this is working so perfectly this is working so perfectly okay same thing i'm gonna do with my cloud okay so what i'm gonna do with my cloud is okay let's uh, run it again and let's see is it working uh, that perfectly or is there uh, some issue no issue okay so for cloud also i'm gonna write the same code that whenever the green flag is clicked i'll be assigning you a position that what position this is the position which it where it is right now so i'll be assigning it a position i'll be going to motion and i'll be putting go to okay again the x axis co coordinates for x axis and y axis is same as uh, it is right now over here and here okay so position has been assigned since it is a continuous process i'll be i'll be doing it in a forever loop again i'll be putting one glide code okay glide one second to what okay so glide one second to let's make this also minus 200 let's see how it works 
um, let's make it minus two one zero. I think it's working perfectly. Let's make it uh, make it a bit slow. Well, the three seconds here will be perfect. Okay, I think it's working perfectly. Okay, since this is also three seconds, the three is uh, cloud is completing in three seconds. I want it to complete in three point seven seconds. Okay, I think it's working perfectly. Okay, perfectly. It is working so perfectly. Now what do I want? I'm done with uh, creating animation now uh, for this cloud entry, and I'm done with uh, uh, controlling my car also. Now what we'll be doing is I'll be putting one more item, uh, one more character. Well, let's see. Let's find that character. Okay, the character will be. I think let's put one bell. Okay, the size of the bell should be thirty-five. Okay. Now I'm done with this. Now what I'm gonna write is. Now what do I want? Whenever the bug car, whenever this car touches the bell, I want to, I want my score to increase, okay, by one or whatever number you want to, it to be increased, okay. So I'm gonna do that. But uh, how will be this working? I want this bell to appear randomly on the screen and then glide leftwards. I want this bell to appear randomly on the screen and glide leftwards. Nothing else. So let's write a code for it. When green flag clicked. Um, since this will be a forever loop, I will be putting a forever loop. And uh, over here, what I will want is the x axis. The x axis should be the same, which is two thirty. Means it should appear at right hand, right most uh, edge only, at, at the right most side only. So I will be putting and first I will be putting a go to code, in which uh, the x will be two twenty seven only. Means it will be the x axis the won't be changed. But uh, what do I want? I don't want it to appear at this position only. I want to ch I want it to appear randomly on y axis. What does this mean? Let's do it. Let's see how it works. Okay. So first, what I'll be doing? I'll be putting a pick random operator, and let's see what's the topmost coordinate for the y axis. Uh, it is one fifty four, and the bottommost coordinate for y axis that is one mi uh, minus one fifty. Okay, now let's run it. See, the bell is appearing randomly on y-axis. X-axis is the same. X-axis is the same. Just y-axis is uh, it is appearing randomly. Okay, working properly. Now what do I want? I want it to glide leftwards. Okay, leftwards means um, that's an horizontal movement. Horizontal movement, then I'll be changing my x-axis. X-axis. Okay, positive number or negative number? Left hand side. Then that's a negative number. So. I'll be just putting change x. You change my x by negative five. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, now what do I want is? Okay, I want. I'll, it will be appearing. It will be changing its x by negative four, and then, and then, let's run it one more. It isn't changing its x by negative four. Um, there's some issue, I think so. Mm hmm. Okay, no problem. So, change x by minus five to. Something like that. Now it will work properly. Okay, it's working properly. So I'll be putting this over here and over here. So what was the issue over here is that the in I have put that go to code in a forever loop. So what was happening? The position would be assigned. Then it was changing its x by minus five. Then again it was going to back to that same position. But I don't want that. So what logic I'm gonna apply now? I'm going to put this go to x and y at the end whenever it reaches to the end. So what I'll be doing is first I'll be deleting this. I'll be making it is minus five. Okay, and I'll be writing a code that if 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 hey if you reach to the very end, the very end will be the x axis will be 
minus 229 so I'll be just writing if my x axis if my x axis or I'll be putting this smaller than uh, uh, in operator okay if my x axis if my x position is smaller than minus 225 that means if my x coordinates go go go, uh, go beyond minus 225 then what will happen is I'll be assigning it up at this position okay I'll be just putting it over here and I'll be deleting the code okay I think it's working perfectly now okay it's working so perfectly now what do I want the bell is up is so slow and uh, the speed is uh, speed has been constant okay which is uh, I don't want that uh, I want some random speed so uh, I, over here it is changing its x by minus y I can put a random operator over here operator speaker random operator and instead of minus y I can make it uh, uh, choose randomly from minus y 5 to minus 8 or minus 4 to minus 8 let's see now okay sometime now it's a bit slower now it's a bit faster so yeah it's working properly I think so okay now what do I want? Now I, I want to write a code that whenever this bell touches the car, okay, I want my score to increase. So for that I'll be make, making a variable score. Okay, so how to make a variable? What is variable? I'll be answering to these questions. What is variable? Variable is a container in which we can store a value. Okay, so basically score is a variable and whatever the mm, score scores value will be like 0 100 so that is the value which has been stored inside the score variable okay so we'll be making one variable score okay once we are done with making the variable score now i'll be doing what i'll be doing is first i'll be assigning uh, i'll be initializing okay so whenever the green flag is clicked i want i'll be setting my score to 0 why am i doing this and what is this process known as this process is known as initialization and why am I doing this because at the start of the game we, we have to assign a starting value we have to assign a starting value to the score because uh, whenever the game starts suppose the, you, uh, you have started a game and, uh, and you ended the game with the score is equals to 100 and whenever you start the start the game again you want your score back to 0 so that is why I am writing set score to 0 whenever the game starts or else the score will be 100 and it will be continuing from 100 I don't want that right so this, that is why I'm initializing it to zero so when the game starts set my score to zero and then since it is a forever loop uh, since it is a continuous process that is why I'm putting a forever loop in this forever loop what am I doing I'm I'll be putting a condition what condition if uh, I, I hear the word condition I should put if statement okay since I put a if statement we are left with condition the condition will be touching what bell will be touching the car right so it will be touching this convertible okay I think uh, okay now what do I want when I touches the uh, car then what do I want I'll be changing its score I'll be changing the score by positive one okay then I want it to go back to that position so I'll be just duplicating the position and I'll be putting it over here simple now what else I want I want to put some sound effect let's put it so I'll be going to sound and I'll be putting start sound Belton I'll be going to sound and I'll let, let's see how this sound is it. So start sound Belton and nothing else. Okay, let's see how it's working. Okay, so but uh, till when you'll be gonna you're gonna play this game? Okay, there must be an end to the game, right? There must be an end to the game. So we'll be putting a timer. That whenever the timer uh, gets to like uh, whenever the 20 seconds gets over. The game will be ended so let's uh, start with it okay we'll be writing it over here for that also we'll be making a variable which is timer 
so timer will be variable and the seconds which it will be showing the numbers that will be its value again when the green flags when the game starts i'll be assigning it a position suppose i want my timer i want my timer to be of 20 seconds so i'll be assigning it a value that set my timer set my timer to 20 this I'm done with initialization so the time, uh, game will be of 20 seconds I'll be pushing, uh, putting a forever loop why because this is a continuous process my timer will, will, be, con will be continuing deducting by negative 1 negative negative 1 like 20 19 18 17 16 perfect so what I'll be doing is that wait for one second change timer by negative 1 okay this is working perfect now i'll be putting a condition that if 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 my timer if my timer gets to zero because if i don't put this condition the the timer will go to negative infinity okay we'll keep going on keep going on keep going on because we have not put a condition that whenever the timer gets to zero you have to stop also so whenever the timer gets to zero now what gets to zero i have not mentioned it so i'll be putting timer over here so now the timer gets to, uh, when the timer gets to zero i'll be broadcasting something what i'll be broadcasting um timer um i'll be just uh, writing a new message time up okay now computer now suppose the timer gets to zero and the computer got got a broadcast message time up computer doesn't know now what to do when it gets the message time up so now no need to worry we'll be telling the computer that very computer whenever you get this broadcast message you have to do some things which i'll be telling you right now so when i receive time up then then what you have to do is when i receive time up um first thing is i want to to put in sound effect like um game over kind of i'll be putting a loose sound play sound until done and um i'll be um putting a score message that whatever the score will be so i'll be putting a say and inside that i'll be putting the value of score and then i'll be simply stopping everything Okay. and yeah we are done with it let's play this game and let's see how she do okay it's working perfectly but what else i want is i want to create a background okay so i'll be going to backdrop i'll be deleting this night sky because i don't want this right now i'll be deleting this backdrop one also i'll be just duplicating it and over here i'll be writing game over okay the color will be red color okay the outline it will be four no um, i'm talking about this outline four and then the color of the outline should be red okay i'll be increasing the size okay i'll be clicking on undo i'll be clicking on i'll be increasing the size of the game over i'll be putting it over here and yeah we are done i'll be just uh, writing a code that uh, go to back layer nothing else okay i'll be writing that code for my car that you'll be going to front layer so i'll be going to looks and i'll be writing go to front layer okay let's run it okay whenever the green flags i would don't want this background to appear so whenever the green flag is clicked set background okay switch background to blue sky one and whenever the game ends switch background to blue sky 2 okay
get you again properly perfect okay i hope you have understood everything but there's still a problem there's still a problem what's the problem what's the problem what's the problem the problem is the score message is in appearing so i'll be doing over here other description right okay i'll be putting a timer okay since uh, i don't want to play it for 20 seconds i'll be playing it for 5 seconds and let's see the score up is or not right now my score is 2 okay it is appearing properly now what's the issue is i want to stop okay it's up to me that uh, do i have to stop this uh, other by the things yes i have to stop so uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be going to tree and i'll be saying that when you receive game over when you receive time up or game over whatever it is you have to stop on what else go to controls and stop all. i'll be writing the same code i'll be copying and pasting it for the cloud and for the bell let's run it for the last time and let's see is it working or not 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 